What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, checking out MarvelousNews.com and seeing that Hot Toys has revealed official images of the Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Thor 1-6 scale collectible figure. This looks very cool man, and I'm very excited for this Thor Ragnarok movie. Now as you can already see, we're getting those, uh, we're getting that rubbery material for the arms once again. We saw something similar to this, uh, like with the Wonder Woman figure, and uh, there's the Age of, Ext or the Age of Ultron Thor figure that kind of had the same thing going on. And one thing I'm judging just by these images over here, it looks like there's not a whole lot of possibility in those arms, but at the same time, uh, Hot Toys said that there wasn't going to be a whole lot of possibility in the Wonder Woman arms, and I was able to get those to move around a little bit more so. But you can see the elbows will bend, so uh, you could get at least 90 degrees, and I guess I, I would prefer more articulation than that, but it looks very realistic, and I think it's preferred over seeing the big cuts in the elbows, for most people anyway. I tend to like seeing, or I don't mind seeing cuts and joints as long as I can move the joints around a whole lot, but uh, these do look like very natural arms. I know I'm spending a lot of time talking about the arms, but it's a very controversial topic when it comes to these Hot Toys figures. But anyway, uh, talking about the accessories, and there are two different versions of this figure. There's the regular version and the deluxe version. The regular version is going to come with one long Einhijar sword, which I guess is not Hendel's sword, but it's an Einhijar sword, sword, and I don't know if I'm pronounce, pronouncing that correctly. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing pronouncing correctly. Oh, it's too early. Anyway, there's one short Einhijar, uh, and then there's the short Einhijar sword. So you get a long one, you get a short one, you get the Sakar rifle, which looks awesome. Then he comes with two swords which are those regular blue swords, and then the two daggers, which can be placed into the sheath, and then he has one dagger sheath, and then one red and metal colored mace. And then the exclusive deluxe version will come with a gray and blue colored articulated helmet, which I think is very, very necessary. I wish that was just coming with the regular version, because, I mean, come on, man. How are you going to want to pick up a Gladiator Thor not have the Gladiator helmet on the Gladiator Thor, man? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I I'm, I'm, I have my eyes more towards that deluxe version just because of that. Then there's also the red, blue, and gold-colored shield, which, again, looks awesome, and we see that in the trailer, so I like that shield. It looks cool. And then there's a specially designed figure stand with character nameplate and movie logo. So, I don't know, man. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm really excited for the movie. I really have a feeling that I'm going to like it, so I want to pick this guy up along with the Gladiator Hulk, and the Gladiator Hulk looks enormous next to this Thor figure. Maybe a little bit oversized, but that doesn't really bother me that much because I like really large Hulk figures, and I really want to get the Gladiator Hulk as well. So even though I have uh, the first movie Thor Hot Toys figure, and I have the Age of Ultron Hot Toys Thor figure, I do want to get this Gladiator Thor just so I can have it pitted up against the Gladiator Hulk. I would really like to have that set up. I think it would be very awesome to see. And one thing I'm seeing over here is an image of the Gladiator Thor holding the Gladiator Hulk's hammer. Like he just hit Hulk with his own hammer. Is that how Thor defeats the Hulk? I don't know. We haven't seen the movie yet, but we'll find out soon enough. But that's just my speculation based off of that image over there. That may have been an oopsie little spoiler. Who, who knows? Or it could have just been a pose. But why else would he be holding it like that? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this figure. Are you going to pick it up? Is this a must-get for you? I believe pre-orders are going to be available at Big Bad Toy Store. At this very moment, they are not. But usually, they go up like the day after Hot Toys releases images. So expect to see pre-orders at BBTS. Hopefully, they have both versions. I definitely have my eye out on that deluxe version. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this update video, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.